So, uh, so a quick method of getting your bearings with, with abdominal organ palpation. First is to check in with that, that image that we built of the thoracolumbar fascia in continuity with the abdominal wall. So we've got this muscular envelope for the abdominal cavity. So you can kind of feel around the back. You've got your skin layer and your subcutaneous fat. And then you've got this firmer, denser, muscular fascia, which encloses the whole abdominal cavity. And you can kind of rotate it to a certain degree. You can translate it. And what you can know about that is that the parietal visceral layer is attached to the underside of that muscular abdominal wall. Um, next thing you can kind of uh, play with here is, uh, is a sense that if you were to do too much shear, you know, especially as soft tissue practitioners, we are really unconsciously good at hooking tissue. That's to say, sinking just a little bit and then shearing it so we get that good hook. Um, if we do that, it makes the deeper structures opaque. We don't feel what's underneath the layer that we're engaging. And so it's important for us first and gently just to sink. And I wouldn't sink like this. I would sink with, with finger pads, right? Just sink until you feel something that feels like the fluid pressure, the fluid volume of the abdominal cavity. So you want to feel like you have suddenly rested your finger pads on the surface of a balloon. And once you're there, stay at that depth. See if you can, like a good water skier, regulate the depth that you are on the surface of that water. Um, and play with moving around a little bit. So we're sinking until we feel that water balloon, then, then moving around little circles at that depth. If we move too far, Again, we get that shear stress, and the deeper layers become opaque. Which means if we want to move to another place, we've got to reposition, sink again, and then move in small circles. Okay. We can do this and actually follow the gentle pressurized cavity of the abdomen around the bend. So we can follow it here, and we can sink in until we gently feel the abdominal fluid space press back and then move around. We can kind of get a sense for the curvaceous contour of the abdominal cavity. And if we do that, going around the bend, we'll notice that long before we get to the back muscles, we feel the parietal balloon turn inward toward the QL. Right? So, what I want you to feel is we're working our way toward the renal capsule is let your finger pads sink to the sides of this balloon, feeling its contours, and then pivot your fingers to follow the posterior curvature of the abdominal cavity. Once you have found this posterior curvature, your fingertips are on the edge of the renal capsule. You're on the edge of the kidney capsule. So your finger pads are on the are on the back side of the parietal space, and your fingertips are on the edge of the renal capsule. And you can actually hook the renal capsule from this place. You can also just rest and listen, and especially during breath. So have have your person take a couple breaths. And what you may feel in this place is the kidneys descend with breath. It's a fascinating thing. If we do ultrasound on the kidneys, we notice that the kidney descends a centimeter or an inch with each good inhale. Okay? If you notice that's not happening, hmm, maybe that posterior visceral space is a little restricted. Okay? Or maybe the person isn't breathing using the back of their diaphragm. It's another, it's another uh, option. That's finding your way to the kidney capsule sort of extra uh, peritoneal, right? Another way to find the kidney capsule is, is, is if you're more comfortable engaging with psoas muscle, um, what you can play with is 
finding your normal approach to psoas, for me it's about going about halfway or one third of the way between the ASIS and the belly button. Gently reinforcing my hands, does that feel okay? Okay. You may want to soften the abdominal wall by, by lifting a leg. Okay. And again, not hooking, not scooping, not shearing, but pure sinking. And what I feel is the fatty subcutaneous layer, I feel the muscular abdominal wall, and then I feel this fluid space of the abdominal cavity. I sink, sink, sink through that until I reach the sea floor. If the sea floor has a healthy pulse, I'm going to shift off of it. Okay. Um, and I can confirm that I'm on the psoas by, uh, by having you just gently try to lift your knee. Boom, psoas muscle, great. However, now I can pivot off of the sea floor and, and just angle myself superiorly and just come, without losing my depth, I'm just going to pivot until my fingertips are in contact with a fatty layer. So I'm no longer in contact with that firm muscular psoas. I'm in contact with a, a pressurized fluid fatty capsule. This is the inferior renal capsule. And from this place, again, if I have Jenny breathe, it should come into contact with my fingertips. So you can actually see, if you watch my fingertips closely enough, as Jenny takes a deep breath in, you may see that my fingertips get pushed out a little bit. That's not just happening on the surface. I can feel it happening on the back of the abdominal wall. The kidney descends and pushes me out of the way. This is especially true on the right side because the right kidney is positioned a little bit lower. Okay. So that's finding your way to the kidney capsule. I would really suggest once you find yourself in contact with the kidney capsule, either from the psoas, find the psoas, pivot upward until you're against a fatty fluid capsule, or, sorry, or finding your way around the back of the abdominal wall in each place. Really give yourself permission in session to hang out there. Hang out there. Let yourself be like a sea kelp in the tide. Be taken by the, the movements that you feel. What you'll find after, after half a minute there is that you get some major autonomic changes. Uh, is, if you've built trust in your session and you're just floating in that, in that fatty layer, it takes patience to float there because you want to, you're used to feeling like a firm muscle and, and working it. Float there and you, what you'll find is that you may not need to do that firm muscle work. The psoas may relax just by your presence. Um, the breath may change just by calling attention to it. Right? Um, and, and so you might get a really big response just by waiting 30 seconds. Okay. That's kidneys. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Good.